Okay, I've set out some colors here. I've got some more yellow. I've got a little bit of red. I've got this this red, this like bright red that um, I'm going to try to bring the rainbow forward. It's kind of hiding in the shadows a little bit. There is mostly um, rainbow kind of colors, but it's not really as bright and cheery as I want it to be. Initially, this piece was um, part of a duo, kind of like a uh, diptych almost. Do I have that? Okay, so I do have, that's the other one. So these two, these two used to be twinsies. This whole color palette was what was underneath all of this. And now um, that that one is completely changed and made it into its own, I'm hoping to bring this one into its own light as well. Um, I was really wanting to do another sister painting. I have a couple of those um, series out there and um, they're really fun to make and they're good for either really good friends or actual sisters or um, parents and their child, um, twins, whatever the case. I have uh, many series that um, use the same color scheme same palette, but they are totally different paintings. Um, okay, so I, I did some of this lighter green. I'm liking that. I was kind of wishing I would have stayed with the warm or the warmer colors so my brush didn't get dirty, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of this fluorescent red, this golden fluorescent red, try to work it in somewhere. This is very hot. This is very, um, bright and it will instantly transform a piece. I'm here to figure out what I don't like about this which is kind of part of the process and hopefully get to a place where I do like it. So there, I just kind of erased this line, not a big fan of this area here, it kind of um, bubbles over a few different colors. And then I don't like that right there, this area right there, that just kind of moving around and seeing what it is that feels right and what feels wrong. A lot of my colors um, sit out in this shed and it gets to be like 120 degrees, which is not great conditions for acrylic paints or probably any paints. Um, that one's not gonna work. I have to really mix that up. This one is really solid. Um, okay, just figuring out, I'm gonna mark some of the places that I'm uncomfortable with, with this light magenta. And then I will go back over them, but they, this area will be somewhat go back over it. These air, this pink is going to be where I come back to with another color. This is like, sometimes I um, will use like a, a white wash or like a light white color in an area so that I can see um, where it was that I wanted to come back. But why not use something bold so that you can see it very clearly so that you can come back to it very easily. I don't like that. 
I don't mind this. I'm going to try it with some... A lot of times when I have extra paint on a brush, I will try to find somewhere to put it before washing my brush. Oh, this is one of the first things you would think of in a composition. Where do I want my eye to go? What colors do I want to use? Um, what shapes do I want to um, share? All of these different things. I don't tend to have any rhyme or reason in my process. Um, I try my very best to... Oh, this is really stuck. Um, to come to things kind of intuitively, not to plan things out too much. I'm not much of a planner and it never seems to work out the, the way that I've planned it anyway. So I just try to let it happen as it happens. And I say it seems to work out just fine. I've not really sold too many abstract works, but I'm happy with most of them. And so, yes, it has turned out mostly fine. Oh, it's so quiet out here. I really am embracing this quiet space. My children are so noisy. Part of my recent joy, and I've really been exploring this since um, starting doing abstracts in 2016. Um, but one of the things I've really been enjoying as of late is letting go of letting go of more, because I was letting go of a lot with doing this as um, abstract work. Um, but honestly, it's not enough. We hold on to so much of that old normal, what used to work, what used to drive us, what we were taught to, um, care about. And, um, I've got to let go of more of that. And sometimes that means putting a color that you think is ugly on a piece that you're loving. Or having a piece that you are kind of indifferent about. Like I'm not super thrilled about this. And then going a totally different route. I'm just gonna go with this yellow because that's totally different where I was wanting to go with this. Just add more yellow. The other day I was looking through some old pictures and I came across this picture of me um, painting at the park. I had given myself just some time to get out of the house similarly to now but I, ha I didn't have a studio then. So um, I took a travel canvas or a travel easel and just got out of the house and um, I was looking at the canvas, the image that I was making, and I really enjoyed it. But 
at some point, I had gone over nearly the entire thing with more comfort zone um, stuff. And I think I ruined it. I don't even know what happened to that piece. It's somewhere, probably my storage. But the point is, I didn't and oftentimes don't really look at things how they are. In permaculture, they advise you to observe before you do anything. Observe the space, see where water's flowing, see where the wind's coming, um, see what animals are there. And um, observe. And unfortunately, my in almost entire practice has been spent doing and not enough time really observing what's going on around me. So um, I'm going to stop here, but I hope that was helpful. I, I don't want to get too long in these videos. Um, yeah. Observe, sit with it, sit with things. Go ahead and make the marks, see what happens. Listen to your heart. Um, do things that are a little bolder than you might ordinarily do. And play. Yeah, play. Like, just do things, just explore like I oftentimes will sit for too long wondering what I should do next and it's kind of contradictory information I'm telling you to observe but I'm also telling you to do because um with permaculture some of the things that you will do are um, like life altering. They will alter your entire space. Large earthworks, they will alter your ent entire space. They will alter your ecosystem, okay? A painting, you have a little bit more flexibility to, to take less time to observe and to take more time to do. And so, um, I oftentimes have to follow that advice myself. Just do, just go ahead and do it. But so much of that has come from getting out of my comfort zone. Editing June here. I'm just um, going to reiterate how much um, play is important. At this point, I was just kind of rambling about um, how important it is for me, how much joy I find in um, painting and I got some time in to finish it up painting with the kiddos outside it was a beautiful morning and we had a little bit of shade in front of my studio so we thought we would do some outdoor painting um, yeah so um, I I want to call it done now the piece done now even though it still feels like a work in progress to me so I've decided to call this piece um, I'm a work in progress too and I thought that was a little bit cheeky and, and fun. And who knows if I'm going to get back into it or just call it done. I have a lot of pieces that are like that. Um, anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this and got something out of it. Um, let me know in the comments if you did. Watching. I love my mommy and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. I love my mommy. We hope you found this helpful. Thank you for watching.